Hi, thanks for stopping by my market report today. Uh, my name is Mike, and this market report is about mortgage rates. What goes into uh, driving the mortgage rates, what's impacting them on a daily basis. We come out with these reports on a daily basis, Monday through Friday, uh, when the markets are open. Uh, these rates kind of go into the trend lines, if they're going up or down or unchanged for the day compared to the previous close, uh, which would be the day before. Uh, we don't get into rate quotes itself because there's just too many variables that go into uh, pricing a loan. And then, of course, there's different loan programs that have different pricing as well. Uh, if you are interested in a pr price quote, uh, please feel free to reach out. A little bit about myself is I am a loan officer. I do work with a lo uh, national lender, so we can do loans in all 50 states. So please, again, uh, feel free to reach out if you have anything in particular you want to quote. But if you got questions about other things, like about the trends or what goes into uh, the fluctuations of these mortgage rates, if uh, my thoughts or opinions on it, please feel free to reach out. Or if you got questions about mortgage programs, uh, that's out there as well. Like, please feel free to reach out. We do handle purchases, so if you're looking to get pre-approved and need to buy a property and finance it, we're here to help as well as refinances. We can certainly run some numbers for you. we got different uh, solutions that can help out different uh, problems out there, like, like for things like college planning to those who are looking to uh, consolidate their debt, those who want to maybe fix up their homes, uh, you know, what have you. Or uh, There's a lot of different avenues we've kind of worked on over the years that we've uh, helped with other people that, that may be applicable for your, uh, your scenario as well. So again, please feel free to reach out. Uh, without further ado, uh, we got kind of a slow day today. Uh, we'll start with the economic report, which has no economic data to report today. This week, however, will be pretty slow in that terms. Uh, the big day actually will be Thursday. We'll get the CPI report as well as the initial jobless claims. Uh, however, most of the days this week will be kind of slow. Friday, we'll get what they call a bond rollover. So each month, uh, we get a reset in our pricing. It doesn't affect rates, but on the chart, it might look kind of off, off or so. So let's take a look, see what's going on with the headline news. Stocks are mixed today. Uh, NASDAQ is a loan index in positive territory. Uh, investors are kind of watching over uh, a lot of things we've kind of discussed in the past, the infrastructure spending proposals. we got, uh, you know, Janet Yellen coming out. That now she's treasurer versus being the Fed chief. Uh, she's talking spending money that's okay to raise rates and uh, have higher inflation to get things moving along. We've spent a whole decade in low in that low territory. Uh, you know they're talking you know trillions of dollars to spend on infrastructure. Uh, and you got of course the Republicans who are trying to keep it down a bit. Uh, and of course you know on top of them trying to talk about a budget for next year uh, six trillion. So that's on top of one another. Um, However, that would obviously raise inflation dramatically, and inflation is not always a good thing. Uh, nobody likes to spend an astronomical amount for food, as we're kind of seeing, and energy. Yes, however, we do like to make money, uh, like more, make more money, but it doesn't always translate to the cost of goods that we're paying, and those tend to be a bit more to spend than what we're making. Uh, so that kind of leads us into inflation and tapering. Uh, you know, there is concern about high inflation. We also got um, the Fed now because there's been so much talk and they've been criticized about tapering. Now they're starting to talk about uh, the tapering. What they're trying to do is they're trying to bring it out quite a bit ahead, give a lot of, give a lot of leeway uh, to try uh, to investors to give them a plan ahead so that way there won't be any taper tantrum. Because in the past, as soon as they start talking about tapering, awesome. Uh, the bond market will tank, and then we'll see uh, spikes in the uh, yields, and they're trying to keep it as more of a modest uh, change. They're trying not to spook the markets. They're trying to uh, get uh, – because for the most part, they've got – they've been drinking this Kool-Aid from the punch bowl for so long that slow they're going to take that away, and uh, they usually kind of throw a little bit of a fit. Uh, at this point, they are uh, – it may be even welcomed at this point. So because investors are concerned about inflation, they don't want inflation – uh, eroding the value of their assets, and so they may have a little bit more. They may be a little bit more receptive to this news going forward. Let's jump ahead, take a look, see what's going on with the headline or bond market. Bond market. We're down about five basis points. We, as you see here, we did start off a bit lower, but however, we did work our way back, even touching out the 25-day moving average. Uh, lenders came out right about this this range here. So what does that mean? It means that we're at a position where there's not enough. 
pricing change in the markets to make any price changes. So uh, rates will be unchanged from where we left off on Friday. So we should have a, a lot of this week, we could see a lot of this standstill. However, we do see a 50-day moving average and 25-day moving average kind of converging. At some point down the line here, we could have a breakthrough in one direction or the other. So again, be a little cautious. However, I don't, maybe that could be Thursday because we do got the CPI report and that does anything with high inflation. Like the last report, we had a big spike in there. So just be a little cautious uh, going forward, uh, especially for Thursday with that CPI report. Um, as we're hoping that could be transitory as the Fed's been talking about. But again, how long? We don't know. Uh, yields are still down. Uh, again, didn't, not much movement there. It's still about 1.57. So we're in a good range here, sitting below the, at, between this uh, technical level and the 25-day moving average. Uh, so hopefully we'll keep this uh, range in a more positive note for those who are looking to refinance or uh, purchase. So again, mortgage rates unchanged from Friday's close. You guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. And if you guys like this video, please go ahead and uh, give that, hit that like button. It certainly helps out our channel. Greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.